Your girl is pregnant. I drop these clothes to sprays. I do it on the days. They treat me really nicely. They buy me all these ice cream. Roche and Gabbana. Fendi and Adana. Mm. I've been a throw up the sex in a... Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As y'all see from that title, y'all already know what this vlog is. Y'all already know what this video is about to be. Your girl is pregnant, like, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm pregnant. I'm so excited to just bring y'all along on this new journey. For me and my family y'all so I'm literally here to just I'm about to give y'all a whole rundown tell y'all when is baby G due how did I find out I was pregnant some symptoms that I'm dealing with plus I'm gonna give y'all some reactions because I did get a few reactions plus I'm gonna bring y'all behind the scenes on um, I think our first doctor's appointment, I only got some footage, but if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, then y'all wouldn't know any of this. That's why I tell y'all stay connected to me on Instagram because when I do go in my A on here, y'all still can be kind of connected to me and know what's going on in my life. I wrote down a few things that to kind of like help me because y'all pregnancy brain is a real thing, girl. I'm like still very, very like in the beginning stages of my pregnancy but we're about to get into all that my due date that baby g is actually going to be here is march 17th 2025 um i am currently like as of today which today is actually september the 27th i am 15 weeks and six days so tomorrow i actually will be 16 weeks y'all are probably gonna ask like what's the gender but we don't know the gender yet we will be finding out the gender soon i don't know if the gender reveal is going to be in this video or if it's going to be in like a video the video after this oh so basically i literally found out that i was pregnant to be exact on july 15th so basically me and my fiance we have went out of town to visit his family in his hometown and prior to me going out of town i was already talking to one of my clients i was just telling her you know i haven't had my period in a month but it's kind of like hard for me to track and to know that i was pregnant because i have irregular cycles so it's like one month my cycle will come on the next month it won't come on and prior to me finding out i was pregnant y'all i had went through a period where i didn't have a cycle for about two to three months i actually had went to the doctor about that I got back from the trip and mind you guys the whole time we were on the trip we would go into like stores even when we got back we would go into stores and it was just almost like the pregnancy test was haunting me like i would look at a test and then i would just like quickly turn my head away like girl you don't even take no pregnancy test like you're not pregnant so why are you going to take a test so i remember we were about to have a fourth of july cookout me and my fiance actually had went to dollar tree to get like stuff for the cookout the cookout it was yeah it was the fourth of july cookout. i remember being in dollar tree and once again i had seen a pregnancy test but i had like turned my head real quick and i mean like in the line the line was moving kind of slow and i was still contemplating like if i should grab a test or not but i didn't grab a test out of there just off the strength of like i just felt like it was dollar tree and i didn't feel like the pregnancy test was going to be very effective so i just kept on going and just once again in denial my fiance's grandma actually had ended up passing away so that's why we ended up going to his hometown and we stopped at target when we were on our way home and i walked into target and i was like i'm gonna get a pregnancy test and my fiance was like why like you don't need a pregnancy test like i'm like well i don't know i feel like i haven't had a cycle and i just feel a little weird so i grabbed the test i just put it in a glove box and i was like okay whatever this results of this pregnancy test is it's gonna be sent by his grandma like that was my whole thought process i was like grandma like whatever you want this test to turn out to be i give it to you like like i'm not gonna say i give it to grandma but like i was like grandma if this is a sign for us to get pregnant like you got it so i put it in a glove box with her obituary and i was just like okay whatever 
I waited till we got home and when we got when we got home I immediately went to the bathroom and took the test. My fiance was kind of like no you should just wait till the next morning because you know they do say that your pee is a lot more like fresh in the morning time but I was like no I'm not waiting any longer like I'm going to go ahead and take this test. So y'all I literally took the test and i was quiet in the bathroom i remember um my fiance literally saying like bae is everything all right in the bathroom like you're a little quiet i was like i don't really know like something kind of looks off about this i was seeing a very i was seeing the dark line on the right hand side but like a really really faint line was coming up on the left hand side and i'm like i don't know something just looks weird about this and I got out the bathroom and I showed him and I was like, I don't know, like, babe, do you see a line there? He was like, I, I don't really know. So I called one of my friends on the phone. She actually just had her baby not too long ago. And she was just like, yeah, um, baby, that looks like you're pregnant. Definitely there's a faint line there. Take another one. So I took another test, y'all, and the test was the exact same thing. I was at this point getting a little, like, excited a little bit. I was getting a little excited, so I was like, okay, let me not get too excited because what if these two tests are just like wrong and they're not correct the next morning that we woke up bay woke up at like seven o'clock in the morning y'all he went to cbs or walgreens to get me like a clear blue test more like the digital side the digital test so i literally took the test y'all soon as i peed on the stick it literally said pregnant i'm about to show y'all the test that like we literally took that i was like i don't know if i could really tell if these are pregnant or not as y'all see the lines are very very faint but they're there i think the one on top was the test that i took first and the other one was the test that i took second however these are the clear blue test i ended up taking and as y'all see it was definitely preggers the other one that has like the words on it is actually inside of my box that i gave to my parents so that's another thing we actually surprised my parents with like a cute little box and I'm gonna put the reaction of them in the video right now. As y'all see my mom, she literally just reacted, being so extra and boohoo cried. Um, I wanted to do the same thing for his parents, but however, like his parents live a little bit farther than my parents do, and we had just like came back from there, so I knew we wasn't gonna be going back there anytime soon. So we literally just told them over the phone. I know people are probably gonna ask, like, was it planned or was it not planned? Y'all, this was not planned at all. Our biggest thing that we kept like telling ourselves was like, okay, we don't want to have a kid right right now like we kind of want to wait to have a baby until after the wedding because I just didn't want to have to run the risk of being pregnant like dress shopping or in being pregnant like at the wedding I was just thinking about like the whole bachelorette party and just like my whole wedding experience I didn't want to be pregnant however I am just super duper grateful that my pregnancy has just been going really well getting out of that first trimester is like the hardest now I feel like it's kind of a breeze it's to the point where y'all I be forgetting I'm pregnant like when I look down at my belly it's like okay girl yeah you pregnant but like other than that I forget like I'm not as tired as I used to be in my first trimester like I'm just overall starting to feel myself feel like myself again and even to the new moms out there like if you guys are in your first trimester and you're feeling like baby when am i gonna get my energy back when am i gonna start feeling myself baby just wait till you get to your second trimester more than likely you will gain your energy back more than like you will start feeling better so symptoms for me to kind of just know that i was possibly pregnant in my first trimester y'all i did not get any type of morning sickness no type of throwing up no type of nothing so i couldn't really tell that 
I was pregnant based off of that. It was more so based off of like the miss cycle. But once again, I couldn't go based off of my miss cycle because my periods were irregular. However, something that I did experience that was kind of like a red flag for me, I was like having period, like period like cramps. So in the beginning, I would I was cramping for like a whole month. I mean, not, not a whole month, but like a whole week straight. And that's what triggered one of my clients to say, like, girl, you need to take your you need to take your pregnancy test because usually us females, y'all know that we will literally cramp for two days or three days max and our cycle comes on. But I was dealing with the period cramps for a whole week, two weeks straight, and I literally had no period that's why in the back of my mind i feel like the pregnancy tests were low-key haunting me because it's like girl you know that you possibly could be pregnant but at the same time yeah but other than that no morning sicknesses nauseousness and like real real pregnancy symptoms did not start happening until after i took that freaking test the tiredness became a lot more even more tired i could literally like sleep all day and then sleep the next day too i'm sorry for all the like the rambling and stuff but i just kind of want to like fill y'all in it's been a while since i picked up this camera and vlogged i have literally just been enjoying my pregnancy like off of youtube i have been like on tiktok and on instagram a lot i already incorporated the reactions and stuff in but I'm actually about to go ahead and let y'all see the behind the scenes of like the doctor's appointments and how that kind of went a little bit. Hey y'all, come with me to find out the gender of baby G at 13 weeks. So y'all, I opted to get the blow work drawn to find out the gender of the baby before we can actually see on the ultrasounds. So pretty much a few things happened this appointment. Um, not only was I able to get the blow work drawn to find out the gender, but we also tested to make sure that it was basically only one baby in there because my fiance is a twin so i felt like we was at high risk to have a twin so we got the opportunity to see our baby today which was so exciting but y'all listen to baby g however daddy of the year did not record that for y'all which that was his job but i got my blood drawn and we will find out the gender of our baby in exactly one week so y'all stay tuned for the gender reveal Okay, so now that y'all seen the behind the scenes of the doctor's appointments and things like that, I am going to give y'all a little belly, a little bump update because y'all have not even seen my bump at all. That's pretty much the update of what's going on and where I've been, how I've been doing. Overall, mommy and daddy is very, very excited to meet our baby. I'm just so excited to be able to be vlogging this, to bring y'all along on this journey. Y'all just don't understand how like blessed I literally feel. I feel like having a child is literally such the biggest blessing. Baby, this is not our plans. Obviously, our plans was to wait to have a child after our wedding, but God had other plans for us. Also, as well as this is a pregnancy vlog, I just want to bring y'all along on me getting out of my funk. Your girl has been in a YouTube funk, as y'all tell. It's been literally 30 some days since I uploaded a last video. When y'all see this, by the time y'all see this, y'all see another video because I've actually been working on a video. But I've been in a funk, so yeah. We have a few things to get done tomorrow we are actually going to do a little sunday reset that i'm gonna bring y'all along and also too i bought cash my dog if y'all don't know i bought him a new home and his home is actually gonna go right back there it's like something i seen on tiktok so cute by the way and we're going to put that together um in a little bit after i cook dinner probably but tonight for tonight's dinner we are going to make lasagna, breadsticks, and Caesar salad. It's the chicken salad. But let me show y'all the belly though. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what my baby's looking like. Let's see. Can y'all see me? So this is how baby is sitting, how baby is looking. What y'all think I'm having? I need y'all to comment down below. Anyways, but yeah, y'all. Just want to update y'all. I'll be back to y'all in a second. I'm about to head downstairs. Go ahead and get everything together so we can make dinner. Then you 
gotta making for the lasagna i'm about to cut this onion because i'm about to saute the onion first but the recipe that i'm actually making i found the video off of tiktok i might include the video like right here so y'all can kind of see what we're doing i mean some people know how to make lasagna some people don't i don't know this is from our girls who maybe don't know how to make some homemade lasagna you know and they they just sew for girls because i used to be the same way but i and listen, I'm about to be a new mom, so <laughs> I'm using the excuses for everything. But I want to learn how to cook. I'm, okay, I'm not going to say I want to learn how to cook because I definitely know how to cook. But I just want to cook more. <laughs> literally just put the lasagna in the oven and then i straighten up the entire kitchen it literally does not look like anything's being cooked um the lasagna is in the oven right now and it should be done in roughly like 15 minutes but in the meantime in between time remember i told y'all cash got a new bed so we're actually about to unbox this and put this together they might have to come help us but if i don't get if i don't need his help then that's going to be even better so actually his bed is going to like his house area is going to go like right there um we're slowly but surely trying to get everything together for um everything together for oh this room um i've still been looking for a couch the couch that i really really want i found on timu but anything sold out so i don't think i'm gonna be able to get that one um so yeah i'm trying to see y'all this box is for christmas i literally want my own drill i want my own little pink drill for christmas that's one of the things on my christmas item my christmas list my own pink drill this is actually how it's going to look i think it's going to fit perfectly in the corner um it's more so one of those corner uh type of uh, things you can definitely tell this is going to be pretty easy i don't think it's gonna be hard but okay something bae taught me y'all he taught me to literally take all the pieces out and move all the pieces to the side how'd you get a new home y'all he's just standing there staring y'all see him He's sitting there saying, like, Mom, what are you doing? I'm making your new home. Yep. Your new home. I got probably like, girl, why you just didn't wait on your man? Listen, I don't like waiting on nobody. All right, y'all. Enjoy this montage.
Okay, y'all. So, finally, 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 hours later, mind y'all, I didn't show y'all me eating. I'm sorry about that. But um, food was 10 out of freaking 10. I had to take a little break because Hebe was going to work. So, he's at work right now. And I had to finish this. It turned out so freaking good right here. I'm about to show y'all me like kind of like setting up his little areas. I think tomorrow I'm going to actually go to like home goods or something and get him like cute little jars up there because that's where his food is going to go as well as some treats for him. It's going to go up there. Oh, this also is not heavy at all. Oh, y'all yeah, actually fits. I gotta see how I like that though. Y'all, that's actually so stinking cute. I think that's so cute sitting right there. Do y'all like it? Comment down below if y'all like it or if y'all think I should move it or like I said, like some cute little jars to go up here with his food and stuff. That would be so cute. And also, too, he has ample amount of space. I'm about to show y'all. But it's so much freaking space in there. I'm about to put one of his little beds in there. And let's see how it can do. Literally, bed go in there. And then, like, his little water bowl and stuff over there. Or either his bed can go. Oh, yeah. His bed goes right over there. And then his food bowls and stuff go right there. I'm about to set everything up and I'll come back to y'all once his whole little house is set. Hey y'all, so as y'all see, Cash's new home is actually up. Um, 10 out, of 10 out of freaking 10, I definitely recommend. I love it a lot. Um, it's very cute, very like simple. It's really not like too, too much. He can still see like what's going on like far as like coming inside of the door, people coming up the stairs. And honestly, y'all, ever since I told him to go like home and to go like lay in his house, he literally has not left his house since then. So tonight we're going to make them both sleep into their new homes. So our baby girl Aries, she also got a new home as well. We basically turned my fiance's closet in his gaming room into her whole entire like home because she is a bigger dog. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to take his little playpen area that he had downstairs. I wanted to like actually bring that upstairs because since all the dogs are upstairs, I think that would be really good. That's just the update on that. I'll let y'all know like how his first night sleeping in his new home is going to be. Also too, I was telling y'all that I also kind of want to go to Marshall's tomorrow. I can actually see the vision, like something cute, maybe like a cute little tray or I don't even know, like something cute up there to put like put his dog food in because his dog jar, like first food is actually downstairs. And I was kind of thinking, like of filling this up with dog food but i don't know like that would be cute just sitting right up there with this dog food maybe i could empty this out and put his dog food up there i don't really know maybe i could go somewhere to find it but i'm actually about to take this makeup off and call it a night i'm probably going to get in the shower and then um sit down and edit and probably watch baddies or something i don't really know what i'm about to do but i feel like i've had a long day today of just being productive once again another day with no naps that's why i'm like so happy to be out of my first trimester because girl the energy level that you literally don't have in your first trimester is like insane also too um i'm going to take down this little sign at the back back there and i actually want to put um like three pictures of myself up there i probably won't talk to you guys no more tonight i'll see y'all tomorrow um hey y'all good morning so today is the next day it is currently 12 09 right now sorry i'm out of breath it's just a pregnant mama thing you know um i did my whole morning routine and then um I just made sure that Cash has food inside of his house. Y'all, he did a really good job with his house last night. 
he actually slept there all night. Well, of course he's gonna sleep there all night, but he did really good. No whining, no barking or anything. But that's also because like we taught him at a young age that like your home, like your little house is basically your safe space and literally. So right now he is, he don't went back in there, but I think it's because Bay came right here. So yeah, I'm about to get ready to go out for the day. I have a few errands that I'm actually gonna run today. So let me tell y'all kind of what we got going on. So today is actually Saturday, as y'all may know. And typically on Saturdays, I like to do like a nice little Saturday house reset. People typically do theirs on Sundays, but I like to take Sundays as like my rest day and I'd rather do the Sunday reset. Oh, I'm about to do better with trying to keep stuff on my lips, y'all. My lips be looking so chapped in the videos when I be editing them. I'm like, girl, you know better than that. Yeah, we're gonna do like a little Saturday reset today. I think I was telling y'all yesterday I was supposed to go to a birthday party, but however, the birthday party literally starts at 12 o'clock and it ends at three and I have a client at one. So that's also why I'm getting ready. So I'm kind of already gonna be out. So basically on our errands to do list today and I'm going to bring you guys along with us. We literally have to, so I don't wanna decorate my suite for fall and I have a hundred dollar budget that I'm going to stick to for my suite for fall. Okay, so basically on our to-do list of things that we have to do today, I'm gonna to get kitchen mats. I wanna get new kitchen mats because the ones that we have, I constantly have to vacuum them. I constantly have to just make sure they're good. And I'm honestly tired of doing that. I clean them every single day and it's getting to a point where I don't have time for that. So I wanna get like some different ones like ones that are just easier to make. And then I also want to get us a trash can. Y'all, we still don't have a trash can since we've literally moved here to this place. We just literally just put a trash bag on one of the cabinet doors and just do that. But I'm tired of doing that. I want our house to come together a little bit more. So I'm going to go there and do that. And then I have to run to Dollar Tree. And if you guys are not getting your cleaning supplies from Dollar Tree, girl, what are you really doing? Because... Dollar Tree can clean the supplies. Not only are they cheap, but they're the same ones that you can get from Target, but for like a dollar, two dollars. Yeah, that's pretty much what we have on today's to-do list. I also have one client at one o'clock and she's just getting a cluster set. So that's not going to take too freaking long. Yeah, and then we'll come back here and y'all, we got to clean. Your girl is getting out of her funk -a dunk okay? I'm getting out of my funk. I'm starting to feel like myself again. Um, as well as I have to edit after I clean the house. Y'all, the video has to drop on Monday and I still have like an hour and something left of footage to edit. So we don't have no time to play around. Yeah, and then also too, if you guys have been like watching me like for a while, then you guys know that I really do suffer from really dry scalp, girl. Guess what I did? I ended up booking a dermatologist appointment and my dermatologist appointment is actually on Monday. So y'all probably will get to see that as well. I am officially going to the dermatologist. I thought like, honestly, maybe me, and pre me being pregnant had something to do with that. But I was noticing that I was kind of struggling with that like even before I found out I was pregnant. So it's definitely not that. But I know like a lot of pregnant people do suffer from like dryness of like scalps and things like that whenever they do find out that they are pregnant yeah y'all i'm actually just going to talk to y'all once i finish when i'm about to go when i finish my hair i gotta kind of like put my hair down and stuff y'all see what i was saying like i need to really like dye my hair y'all couldn't tell yesterday on the camera because i literally just i make sure i lay it all down but it's definitely like a color difference hey y'all so it is currently 1 44 right now i just finished with my clients her lashes came on cute um this video isn't really much like lash related so that's why you guys didn't see that but i'm actually about to head to hobby lobby right now i know i didn't tell y'all that i was planning on going to hobby lobby but i was on the phone with my sister and she was just like hobby lobby is having a big sale and i do want to get fall stuff fall decor either way it goes we're all like it's all at the same place initially like all on the same side of town so i'm not really tripping too much about that rap to you real quick i want to enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real hola Take me home.
slow bump. Let me guess your favorite fragrance. And you got that bomb. I'm trying that in nature. No disrespecting, baby. Just trying to make you smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay it down. Try to keep your spirits up. Little vodka, whatever. Took it forever to get dressed. I acknowledge your effort. So I clap for it. She deserves it. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so freaking hot. I'm sorry, hold up. I've been craving these butter ring cookies and I've been looking for them at like all the gas stations. Side note, I went to Dollar Tree, y'all. The This person, this girl, I don't know if it was the boy, the girl was by me and baby, they forgot to put some deodorant on. When I tell y'all, they had the whole entire store stuck. I was so ready to get out of there, stick to my stomach. Like, I feel like nauseous right now. But I'm a little hungry, so it's currently 3.06 right now. I'm about to honestly run over here to Arby's to grab me like something to eat, like something small to eat. I'm hungry and I don't want my baby to be like starving. Okay, y'all, so your girl just got finished smashing her food. I ended up going to Arby's like I told y'all I was gonna do. I got Arby's, 10 out of freaking 10. Amazing, mommy feels full. I feel good, I feel good and full. I am at at home now. We about to go in here and look for these two things. I also kind of low-key want to look for like a cute little throw to go inside of my suite. Can't wait to show y'all all the little decor things that I got for the house slash shop. I didn't really get much for the house, but I got some stuff for the shop. Yeah, after this, we we're pretty much going home and we're going to put up all of our cute little fall decor. Um, that The stuff that we did get from the store. <gasps> The stuff that we did get from the store we gotta start deep cleaning that's another thing that's going to be on our list of getting out of our funk baby we gotta deep clean that house i want to deep clean the house so i'll probably be cleaning for probably the rest of the evening honestly currently 328 right now and i'm doing really good on time I'm really so as soon as i walked in at home i literally see these cute behind cameras they're so freaking cute but the sign says under 25 and I'm confused. It's $24.99. That's $25. Babe. They just smell so good though. I did want to get candles, so I'm like, I don't know. We might be making one more stop. Oh, this one's 14. But it doesn't smell good though. Like this is so freaking cute. For the outside of our door. Like what? We might have a better option. Hold up. Or this one. I like this one. This one's so freaking cute. So this one or either this one. I don't know. How much is this one though? It's taller, so it's probably more expensive. I don't know. There's no price on it. I don't know. I'm about to call my mom. BRB. So y'all, I actually ended up finding trash cans in here, which I don't know why I didn't think they had trash cans. But I'm kind of debate, trying to debate, do I want to go with the stainless steel sensor bin, the, this one, or this one, and this one opens, like, basically, I can't explain it, but, okay, opens like that. I'm not sure which one I want to do, and then I just personally feel like this trash can is just a little bit too small for us. That one or that one? I just feel like we just had a trash can that was this size and it really was not that bad. And the thing about it is, guys, it's literally one left right here. I think it's meant for us Your to- Your girl is officially back home. I'm happy to be home. I'm home before five o'clock. It is 4.39 as we speak right now. I'm about to give y'all a little haul of some of the things that I got. Also two stuff for the gender reveal actually arrived, but I'm not gonna show y'all that until the next video because this has nothing to do with the gender reveal. So the first thing that I got, I'll just show y'all everything that I got from at home first. So the first thing I got was this cute welcome sign. And at the bottom it says, friends and family i thought this was just so cute so i was actually looking for like pillows to go on the porch to kind of like match the whole theme of that however i could not find that i also got mats to go down in the kitchen 
I do like the ones that we have currently in the kitchen, but I already told y'all about that whole situation. I'm tired of cleaning it up. I don't have time to do it every day. I ended up getting the trash can that you guys seen, which is this trash can. Um, I'm super excited about that because like I told y'all, the whole trash situation is just like very, 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 very overwhelming. Lastly, from at home, this jar right here, which I told y'all last night that I wanted to get a cute little jar to go on top of Cash's new home so we could put his dog food in there i wanted to get another one like maybe a smaller size one to put like his dog treats in there and stuff so i'm thinking about actually going back together not together but to get another one i just didn't see another smaller one of that size and then from hobby lobby we actually got some cute goodies too but the stuff from hobby lobby i'm gonna show y'all what i got some of it's for the shop and some of it's actually for the house so first things first i got this cute golden like cute gold pumpkin i'm going to put that at the shop i want to go for i really want to find like some pink stuff some pink fall decor but they didn't have pink fall decor so i had to like settle for what they literally had which was these two ones so this one says thankful and it's also gold as well. I think it would be just so cute sitting by each other at the shop. Then also for our baby's nursery, cause I kind of like, even though I don't know the gender of the baby right now, I still kind of know what color schemes that I kind of want to go for in the, in the nursery. So I got this cute little sign that is going to hang on the wall. It says, all of God's grace is in one tiny face. All of God's grace in one tiny face. I just think this is like just such a cute and just such a beautiful like little thing. I was like, I had to put this, I had to get this for me. And then we also got from at home, this is also for the shop as well. I know from Hobby Lobby. I got this cute little orange tray. I'm actually gonna use this to put our like candy and stuff in. I think this would just be really cute to put the candy and stuff in. And then I got a pillow, which says happy fall. I'm just gonna have it decorated for like, just a little bit all the way up until, you know, it's time to start putting out all of um, the Christmas stuff. Cause y'all Christmas is my favorite, favorite time of the year. And I still have all the Christmas stuff from last year. From Dollar Tree. I don't know why I grabbed these, cause I'm not even eating them. But I ended up picking up some hot fries, some forks, some pink and blue pencils. These pencils are actually for the gender reveal because I guess the, the, the decorator, she told me to pick up them and I had to make sure I got them so I didn't forget. I also got like a dish scrubber, which we are in the kitchen, so we can put that there. For the cleaning supplies, I actually picked up the Lysol Lemon All Purpose Cleaner and then this is the Lysol like toilet cleaner and you can't go wrong with the Lemon Fresh Comet. I'm tired. I feel like I've had like such a long day out, which I really have, but I'm tired y'all. All he wanna do is gas me How we end up in the backseat Just tryna get to the bag We on the same page, you the same way Only keep the fam around me So let me know what it's gonna be I don't plan on getting no sleep Why we doing our thing? Moving too fast Candy paint, with the windows all black Seats creme brulee, that's what they gon' say With the top down, screaming money, anything We up till six in the morning, when the sunrise will be on it. Oh, I got five, you all so alive. Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide, baby, when we gon' slide. Hey. Up all night, baby, when we gon' slide. Oh, hey, hey, baby, when we gon' slide. slide. Hey, y'all, so it is currently like hours and hours later since. I last cleaned up. That's the last time I talked to y'all. It's currently 12 
it's currently 12.06 right now and your girl just got finished editing a whole video so it literally took me like two to three days to completely edit this video i'm thinking about dropping or uploading twice this upcoming week i'm not really sure i'm partially oh <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm partially done with the video. I just have to like add the intro in. But y'all, I low-key, I don't want to speak on it too much, but I think I found a way to get music now. I'm not really sure. I'm super duper excited about that. But basically tomorrow, well today, we are going to church. Well, tomorrow in a sense on sunday we will be going to church but i also have to go to charlotte for i have to go to charlotte tomorrow oh y'all i'm so sleepy i'm sorry i'm trying i'm so sleepy y'all i'm trying to focus okay can't be on a focus for real so literally tomorrow after church, I'm probably going to come home, finish editing the video, pack me a little spin a night bag, and your girl has to head to Charlotte for the night. I have a dermatologist appointment about for my scalp on Monday morning, and I have to be there at 9 a.m., so I can't play around with it. And I'm like, I'm not waking up early and literally driving there. Like, it's no way that I'm waking up at like 7 o'clock in the morning. I just don't even have time to like even risk it being late or just anything like that. So I said, I'm just gonna wake up early and just not wake up early. I'm just going to go down tomorrow. Girl is finally, finally, finally getting back on her YouTube schedule. I'm just having to stay like having to figure out a way to be able to balance everything with my business posting on my personal instagram and while still vlogging here on youtube so i'm just trying to stay like consistent on all platforms that's literally like a big prayer for me right now because it seems like for me i feel like the problem that i really have is like balancing everything all together it can become it can become very overwhelming but I also am wanting to really take my YouTube serious because I know once I, whenever I do take my YouTube serious, I know the results that can come from it. Especially with me like finding out that I am have been recently pregnant. It's just like, I'm like, girl, okay, we're gonna have to really sit down and figure this out because I just don't want to be that parent that just, or I don't, I, my biggest fear is being that parent that just has to work so much to the point where I'm missing out on a lot of my child's childhood years and I know how important that is. So it's like, I am my own boss, but at the end of the day, a lot of people don't understand you being your own boss. You still are required to like put in work like not really put in work but you are required to like physically show up in a, in a sense um i do have other sources of income that can kind of like you know like i do have other sources of income so like it's not too big of a headache and a stress but i know like at the same time i still have to get up and show up to work on monday through friday but you know that's just my little rant for tonight i know i'll be talking y'all heads off i was noticing that this last video that i was just editing that i literally talk y'all heads off so i'm sorry in advance but like i just be wanting to talk to y'all i feel the safest to talk to y'all um and i just be trying to let y'all know i try to put y'all in like I try to let y'all know information without letting y'all know information, if you make sense. Also too, guys, I got another sale on my Lash Crash Course, which is my full online lash course. I'm so excited about that because I was really, really nervous or I have been a little nervous about it. I was like, you know, people just haven't really been purchasing that. For some reason, this fortune cookie thing fell out of my the back of my phone. It literally says take today's actions have the power to inspire and honestly y'all that is the whole reason why i just love my youtube channel because it's just like i don't know who i could be inspiring who i could be like talking to and i felt like in the past i don't get on here and just be a little bit more open and vulnerable with y'all and just talk to y'all about like how like talk to y'all and really build a connection and build a relationship so y'all can know really who I am a lot of people know me as K Millie but like I want y'all to know Keviana like I want y'all to know me for me like 
the raw authentic side and i'll be trying to show y'all that or i i'm not gonna say i try to show y'all that but i show y'all that I'm about to take a shower and then later. hey y'all good morning happy sunday aka your girl's favorite day of the week i am so happy that it's freaking sunday y'all is currently 10 49 right now we're running a little i'm not gonna say like a behind behind but like a little bit behind because church starts at 11. Um, i'm about to actually head downstairs and go make my coffee but i do want to let y'all know like kind of like what we're doing today after church we are going to go to target because our baby girl area she started her heat and we need to get her some smaller diapers because we got our medium size but actually have to get her a small and we also need like some household hygiene things as well like um lotion and things like that soap i think and then yeah your girl has to come home finish editing real quick and then i have to upload the video and then pack my bag and your girl is going to charlotte's show y'all what i'm wearing to church i literally was like i just want to be comfortable today like just something cute but comfortable so i have on this green looking shirt with these leggings that actually came from Target too. Y'all, ever since I spent, I think, how much did I spend on these? $600 on these Apple Pro Maxes? I hardly ever use them. Unless I'm like about to kind of like clean up or something like that, then that's when I'll use them. But other than that, I don't really use my Apple headphones. Yeah. Hey y'all, so we are literally out of church. It's 1240, we got out of church early today. But church was like really, really good. The topic for church today was stay in a child's place. He was basically speaking to like the youth and stuff, basically saying that like we are all children of God and don't like, don't block your blessing by just saying that you are a youth and you can't maybe, for example, if like one of your callings or if your calling is to preach the word of God, don't say your excuse is basically like you're too young why you can't preach the word of god because basically we all have callings and there's no such thing as like a age restriction on it um it was really really good it was a really good message it's oh, a man. lot of traffic and then two some people actually like leave early but um my mom and my aunt always said to me like what's the point of going to church if you didn't hear the benediction basically like you ain't get the last like the benediction prayer and a lot of people leave early and I just feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's a little disrespectful a little bit. But, I mean, I understand if it's like a Sunday that like maybe they're baptizing or it's just like taking a while. But, yeah, church is really good, y'all. I just love this church. I love coming to this church. I feel like I get so much like meaning out of the word as well as I learn so much. And it's like, even if you do maybe for say like miss the like praise and worship side of things it's church is still just so good like i don't know but do you notice the difference between like this church and like the other churches that we go to yeah like even even though even though it's a like a, a big church mm -hmm. like i still feel connected like it it definitely beats the stereotype when people say you know you go to a big church it's not family oriented like i feel the family vibe like it's genuine yeah. i will say and that's that's what i'm big on like i always you know when we both talk about it like far as just being genuine it's not quote unquote janky yeah and it's, it don't give for me it don't give those vibes it don't give those vibes at all and then also too what i love to see like yes you know we are supposed to pay our tithes and offer it into church but like they don't press the they issue. don't press the issue about it but also too like we can kind of see like where the money is going like you know like before church ended today they did like a little um video documentary in a sense like how they gave back to the one of the local high schools here and it's just like small stuff like that like it makes me feel warmed up my heart like okay not only are like we are paying our tithes and offering but like our money is going back into the community, the community. our money is going it's into a, a good yeah it's a serving good cause, a, a good cause purpose. a good purpose of what's what we're doing but um I gotta get ready to pay my tithes and offering because I didn't have cash today, so I'm gonna pay it online. If you don't pay your tithes and offering, Buki, you need to make sure you pay your tithes and offering. Um, you need to give God 10% of all of your earnings. Of all of your earnings. So you can be blessed. I'm actually about to smell 
this one is the coconut water EOS. I always get the vanilla cashmere, but I'm gonna try this one. Fragrance free. Mm. Oh, this one smells good. Coconut waters. Oh, that one smells good too. Let's see. This one smells. It is also about to start getting cold, so Ooh, you just can't go wrong with this one. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out why everybody's always raving about this. I see so many people use this stuff. It literally does not smell good. But I did just see somebody um, post about this and they have the body wash. I'm about to see if they have it. And I'm actually going to get this. Y'all, they sold it all out, literally. We actually need some plugins. And I'm trying to figure out what's the favorite. The fragrance, we literally always get the purple ones. But I think instead we're gonna try some other ones. Let's grab your money. We do good. Everything can go. Okay, y'all, so boom, let me stop. <laughs> there's a YouTube, there's like a couple on Instagram, they be doing it. Okay, so literally me and Bay just stopped at this cookie restaurant or this cookie place that I guess you was seeing on social media or on Instagram. It's called the Cookie Plug out here in Greensboro. And as y'all seen, they have like so many freaking options. So we got the s'mores, the fruit cookie, the strawberry cheesecake, and this one is the red velvet, and it has like Oreo in it. And we about to do a little taste test for y'all. So which one you about to try? We about to both try all of them. We gonna break them in half and try them. Oh, uh, right, let's do that. Which one you gonna try first? We gonna go in this order. Which one? This order. All right, that's cool. That way. Yeah. Here, hold. Uh-uh. We got a cheers. What are you talking about? Cheers. Yeah. I like this. So what do you rate that one? Yeah, Eight. Yeah, I give it a nine. That was a s'mores. I give it a nine. Y'all, we about to try the fruit one. Cheers. Let's see what this is here. Oh. I'm a little nervous. Mm. I'm not like a fruity pebbles type of person. Pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? Okay. You like you with Tim? You like a seven. You like it's more better than Korea? Yeah. Y'all, my favorite. I only got it. I only really like it. only caught my attention because it was pink. It's a big old piece you got. It's good, but I don't know if this is what I was would imagine. Yeah. Give it about like an eight. Okay. And lastly, we got the red velvet Oreo. I feel like this one is smack. Small piece. And you didn't even, you didn't say you don't even like red velvet. Cheers. Uh, do better, bro. Change my mind. My favorite is the s'mores. The, my favorite is probably the s'mores, s'mores as well. The red velvet one, it doesn't taste like red velvet. It really just tastes like chocolate. Overall, it was good. It was a cool little try. I think next time I come back, I'm going to do the OG Oreo. Mm -hmm. Like the OG, which is the cookies and the Oreo. No, the chocolate chip cookie. And then I'm gonna do the s'mores. Cause those two were definitely the better ones. I don't like the red velvet, I can tell you that much. The strawberry so what, one. So what was it about the red velvet that you didn't like? It's just chocolatey. Like. But, all right y'all, we're headed home right now. It's currently 2.23. I'm trying to get home because I'm gonna eat. I remember I told y'all I have to finish editing before I get on the road. And then football. he wants to watch football. And I also have to pack a little spinner night bag and then I'm hitting the road. Hey y'all, so I actually forgot to close out this vlog yesterday. This is actually going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy me telling y'all that I am officially pregnant and spending a couple days in my life. But I love you guys and I'll see y'all in the gender reveal vlog. So y'all stay tuned and also comment down below if you are team girl or team boy. See y'all later. <laughs>